Welcome back to Hollywood Inside 1960s. In this video, we will explore a very interesting topic. Top 30 Actors You Will Never See Again, Standing at the Peak of Fame, These Stars Suddenly Passed Away Quietly. However, their brilliant image and contribution to the entertainment world will live forever in the hearts of the public. Before starting, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to always receive breaking news about the lives of glamorous celebrities. Let's get started. Number 30, Marlon Brando was born on April 3, 1924 in Omaha, Nebraska and is one of the greatest actors in cinema. He left a deep impression through his role as Stanley Kowalski in the play, Fragile Tramway, and the role of Don Vito Corleone in the masterpiece, The Godfather. His breakthrough performances helped him reach the peak of his career when he won two Academy Awards for Best Actor. Brando died on July 1, 2004 at UCLA Hospital at the age of 80 due to lung complications. The actor's passing shocked the Hollywood entertainment industry because they had just lost a world film legend. The public also expressed their sadness when the talented talent passed away forever. Brando is a symbol of cinema with natural talent, passion for his career and a legacy of lifetime roles. Number 29, James Dean was born on February 8, 1931 in Marion, Indiana, and was a famous Hollywood movie star in the 1950s. He is famous for three enduring films, more outnumbered than The Dust, The Hard to Raise Boy, and Passionate Beauties. Dean reached the pinnacle of his short but hot career when he was nominated for the Best Actor Oscar for two films, More Outnumbered Than The Dust, and A Hard to Raise Boy. His natural, charismatic acting inspired many generations of later actors. Tragedy occurred on September 30, 1955 when the Porsche 550 Spider sports car that Dean was driving was hit head-on by a truck, causing him to die at the scene at the age of 24. The star's sudden death of young people shocked the entertainment industry and audiences around the world. Although his career ended short, James Dean left an indelible mark in cinema history. Number 28, Marilyn Monroe was born on June 1, 1926, a famous blonde girl in Los Angeles, California with the real name Norma Jean Mortensen. Marilyn left a strong impression as a sex symbol and seductive beauty in the classic films, Once Upon a Time, Women Who Marry, He's Drunk and She's Infatuated. The pinnacle of his career is probably the immortal performance of the song, Happy Birthday Mr. President, dedicated to U.S. President J.F. Kennedy in 1962. However, this beauty passed away on August 5, 1962 at a villa in Los Angeles under mysterious circumstances at the age of 36. The sad news spread quickly, making the public sad and surprised by the death of Hollywood's top sexy stars. Despite her eventful life, Marilyn Monroe is still considered a pop culture icon and beauty model of the 50s and 60s. Number 27, John Wayne was born on May 26, 1907 in Winterset, Iowa with the real name Marion Robert Morrison, and is one of the most famous American movie stars. He is widely known for his brave, simple western cowboy roles in classic films such as Red Death, Warriors Go to Battle, and Behind the Ancient Citadel. The pinnacle of John Wayne's career was when he won the prestigious Oscar for Best Actor in the movie Behind the Citadel in 1969. Sadly. The movie star passed away on June 11, 1979 at the University of California, Los Angeles after a difficult battle with thyroid cancer and lung cancer at the age of 72. His passing caused the Hollywood entertainment industry was shocked and mourned, and the public around the world also expressed deep sadness. John Wayne is hailed as a symbol of masculinity, courage and the spirit of the West. His authentic, masculine acting style and extraordinary temperament have painted the image of a charming cinematic cowboy, leaving a deep impression in the hearts of fans. Do you like this actor? If yes, comment number 1, if not, comment number 0 to let us know. If you find an actor impressive, please add this sentence at the end of the paragraph.
Number 26. Audrey Hepburn was born on May 4, 1929 in Brussels, Belgium, and is one of the most famous movie stars of the 20th century. She left a deep impression through her elegant and seductive roles in works. Classics like, Sweet Raindrops, Breakfast at Tiffany's, and Good Girls. Unfortunately, the female star passed away on January 20, 1993 at her home in Toloshenaz, Switzerland after a long battle with colon cancer at the age of 63. Her passing shocked the world of cinema. And the audience mourned the loss of a great talent. Audrey Hepburn left many great contributions to the art of cinema with her natural, sophisticated acting style and pure, elegant beauty. Hepburn became an eternal fashion and film style icon. Number 25. Cary Grant was born on January 18, 1904 to November 29, 1986 in Bristol, England with the real name Archibald Alec Leach, one of the legendary actors of Hollywood cinema. He is widely known for his stylish, elegant roles in classic works such as Miracle on Route 34, Notorious, and The Murderer in Sight. After a long and illustrious career, the movie star passed away on November 29, 1986 in Cleveland, Ohio at the Daycarest Nursing Home at the age of 82. The famous actor's passing left the film industry shocked and sad. And the audience is extremely saddened by the loss of a great idol. Cary Grant is praised as one of Hollywood's most classy actors for contributing to the elegant, luxurious, and gentlemanly style of movie actors. Grant left behind a top-notch film fortune, becoming a symbol of classic American cinema. Number 24. Judy Garland was born on June 10, 1922 in Grand Rapids, Minnesota with the real name Ethel Gum, and is one of Hollywood's most famous music and acting stars. She left a deep impression with her role as Dorothy in the classic film, The Wizard of Oz, as well as her powerful singing talent. The peak of Garland's career was when she won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her role in the film, Judgment at Nuremberg, in 1961 and continuously received many other Nobel nominations. The talented female star passed away on June 22, 1969 at her home in London, England from an overdose of sleeping pills at the age of 47. Her sudden passing left the entertainment industry shocked and deeply saddened by her death. Death of a Great Star Despite her short career, Judy Garland is considered a Hollywood legend for leaving many great contributions to world cinema and music. Do you like this actor? If yes, comment number 2, if not, comment number 0 to let us know. If you find an actor impressive, please add this sentence at the end of the paragraph. Number 23. Humphrey Bogart was born on December 25, 1899 in New York, and is one of the greatest actors of Hollywood's golden age. He is famous for his romantic, masculine hero roles through classic works such as Casablanca, The Maltese Falcon, and The African Queen. The pinnacle of Bogart's career was when he won the Oscar for Best Actor for his role in the film The African Queen in 1951. His natural acting, deep speaking style and calm and powerful style helped he left an indelible mark on the audience. The movie star died on January 14, 1957 at Hollywood Presbyterian Hospital at the age of 57 after a difficult battle with maxillary sinus cancer. The actor's passing caused a great stir in the entertainment industry and was deeply sympathized and mourned by the public. Humphrey Bogart is hailed as a classic Hollywood cinema icon with classic roles that have become legendary. Number 22. Natalie Wood was born on July 20, 1938 in San Francisco, California with the real name Natalia Nikolaevna Zakharenko, and is a talented Hollywood movie star. She is famous for her outstanding roles in works such as, Rebel Without a Cause, Splendor in the Grass, and West Side Story. The peak of Natalie's career was when she was nominated for the Best Actress Oscar for two films, 
Rebel Without a Cause, 1955, and Love with the Proper Stranger, 1963. Her natural, diverse acting ability and brilliant beauty conquered the audience's hearts. Tragedy occurred when Natalie Wood died on November 29, 1981 in a mysterious drowning off the coast of Catalina Island at the age of 43. The sudden death of the beautiful star shocked the Hollywood entertainment industry and the audience. The whole world is shocked and saddened. Natalie Wood left many important contributions to the art of film acting, becoming a symbol of feminism and the pure, clear beauty of Hollywood at its peak. Number 21, Paul Newman was born on January 26, 1925 in Shaker Heights, Ohio, and is one of the legendary actors of Hollywood cinema. He is widely known for his many outstanding roles in classic works such as The Color of Money, Nobody's Fool, The Verdict, and Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. The pinnacle of Paul Newman's career was when he won the prestigious Oscar for Best Actor for his role in the movie The Color of Money in 1987 after being nominated many times but never winning the award. The movie star died on September 26, 2008 at his home in Westport, Connecticut from complications of lung cancer, at the age of 83. The passing of the famous actor shocked and saddened the Hollywood entertainment industry, while the public also expressed deep condolences. Paul Newman is hailed as a film legend thanks to his talented acting ability, romantic style and humanitarian charity activities. He contributed significantly to shaping the image of the modern male movie actor. Number 20, Elizabeth Taylor was born on February 27, 1932 in London, England with the real name Elizabeth Rosemond Taylor, and is one of the most powerful and famous movie stars in America. She left a deep impression with her brilliant beauty and acting talent in classic works such as Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, Butterfield 8, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? Elizabeth Taylor won two Academy Awards for Best Actress for the films, Butterfield 8 Inches, 1960, and Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? 1966. In addition to her talent, she is also admired for her beautiful beauty. The star passed away on March 23, 2011 at Cedar sinai Hospital in Los Angeles, California, after a battle against cardiovascular disease and infections at the age of 79. Her passing shocked the entertainment industry. The world and the audience were shocked and saddened by the loss of a theater and film legend. Elizabeth Taylor is hailed as Hollywood's symbol of beauty, artistic passion and courageous spirit. Her lifetime roles have contributed to reshaping the image of a modern actress. Number 19, Ingrid Bergman was born on August 29, 1915 in Stockholm, Sweden and is one of the most talented and famous movie stars of the 20th century. She left a deep impression with her pure beauty and outstanding acting talent. Them in classics like Casablanca, Gaslight, and Notorious, the peak of Ingrid Bergman's career was when she won three Academy Awards for Best Actress for the films Gaslight, 1944, Anastasia, 1956, and Murder on the Orient Express, 1974. Her natural, diverse acting ability and elegant beauty have helped her conquer the hearts of global audiences. The star passed away on August 29, 1982, on his 67th birthday, at his home in London, England due to complications from colon cancer. Her passing made the world cinema world deeply saddened, mourning a great talent. Ingrid Bergman left many important contributions to film art. She became a symbol of the beauty of modern women. Number 18, Steve McQueen was born on March 24, 1930 in Beach Grove, Indiana, 
and is one of the movie stars with extremely impressive styles in Hollywood in the 1960s and 1970s. He is famous for his image of a strong, romantic hero through works such as The Great Escape, Bullet, The Thomas Crown Affair. The peak of Steve McQueen's career was when he was nominated for an Oscar for Best Actor for the film The Sand Pebbles in 1967. The movie star died on November 7, 1980 at Cedars Sinai Hospital in Mexico after a difficult battle with lung cancer at the age of 50. The actor's heartbreaking passing shook the entertainment industry and made the audience extremely sad and sad. Steve McQueen left many important contributions to the art of Hollywood film acting with his natural, masculine acting style. He became a symbol of romantic beauty for the young generation at that time. Do you like this actor? If yes, comment number 3, if not, comment number 0 to let us know. If you find an actor impressive, please add this sentence at the end of the paragraph. Number 17. Betty Davis was born on April 5, 1908 in Lowell, Massachusetts, and is one of Hollywood's legendary movie stars. She left a deep impression with her diverse acting ability and rich introspection in classic works such as All About Eve, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. Now, Voyager, Betty Davis reached the peak of her career when she won two prestigious Oscars for Best Actress for the films Dangerous, 1935, and Jezebel, 1938. Her natural, sharp acting and thorny, seductive beauty have helped her conquer the hearts of audiences for decades. The star passed away on October 6, 1989 at his home in newly sur seine France after a battle against cancer for many years at the age of 81. The passing of the movie legend shocked the entertainment industry. The world was shocked and mourned a great artistic talent. Betty Davis is hailed as a Hollywood icon with a great contribution to reshaping the image of a modern, powerful movie star. Number 16. Clark Gable was born on February 1, 1901 in Cadiz, Ohio, and is one of the most legendary and charming actors of 20th century cinema. He left a deep impression with his elegant and stylish temperament through his films. Classic works like It Happened One Night, Mutiny on the Bounty, especially the role of Rhett Butler in Gone with the Wind, in the middle of his acting career, the movie star passed away on November 16, 1960 at Hollywood Presbyterian Hospital in Los Angeles, California due to complications from cardiovascular disease at the age of 59. The death of the silver screen legend shocked the village. Entertaining and shocking and saddening the public around the world, Clark Gable left many great contributions in shaping the image of a typical Hollywood actor, the perfect combination of aristocratic temperament and liberal masculinity. Number 15. Grace Kelly was born on November 12, 1929 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and is one of the most famous and powerful movie stars in Hollywood in the 1950s. She left a deep impression with her beautiful beauty and stellar acting ability. In classic works such as Rear Window, To Catch a Thief, The Country Girl, the pinnacle of Grace Kelly's career was when she won the Oscar for Best Actress for her role in the movie The Country Girl in 1954. In addition to her talent, she was also admired for her stunning beauty and fashionable style. Classy Page, the gorgeous star passed away on September 14, 1982 after a tragic car accident in Monaco, where she became princess when she married Prince Rainier III in 1956, at the age of 52. The passing of Grace Kelly made the world entertainment industry immersed in sadness and mourning for a great talent. Grace Kelly is hailed as Hollywood's ultimate beauty and fashion style icon. Number 14. Montgomery Clift was born on October 17, 1920 in Omaha, Nebraska, and is one of the most talented and controversial actors of Hollywood's peak period. 
He left a deep impression with his deep, introspective acting ability in works such as A Place in the Sun, From Here to Eternity, and Judgment at Nuremberg. The peak of Montgomery Clift's career was when he consecutively received four Academy Award nominations for Best Actor for the films, The Search, 1948, A Place in the Sun, 1951, From Here to Eternity, 1953, and Judgment at Nuremberg, 1961, showing his top acting talent. The talented actor died on July 23, 1966 at New York University at the age of 45 after years of struggling with trauma and addiction. His tragic death left the film industry shocked and saddened by the passing of a true genius. Montgomery Clift left many important contributions to the art of acting through natural acting and authentic emotions. Clift became a symbol of a talented actor who dared to innovate in the new era of cinema. Do you like this actor? If yes, comment number 4, if not, comment number 0 to let us know. If you find an actor impressive, please add this sentence at the end of the paragraph. Number 13. Rita Hayworth was born on October 17, 1918 in Brooklyn, New York with the real name Margarita Carmen Casino, and is one of the sexiest and hottest stars of Hollywood's golden age. She left a deep impression with her fiery beauty and skillful dancing skills in works such as Gilda, Cover Girl, and The Loves of Carmen. The sexy star passed away on May 14, 1987 at her home in New York after a difficult battle with Alzheimer's disease, at the age of 68. Her passing made the world's entertainment industry deeply saddened by the loss of a hot, seductive icon. Rita Hayworth is hailed as the hot, sexy symbol of golden age Hollywood cinema. She contributed significantly to reshaping the image of movie stars. Number 12. Joan Crawford was born on March 23, 1904 in San Antonio, Texas with the real name Lucille Fay Lassure, and was one of the most powerful and famous stars in Hollywood at its peak. She left a deep impression with her diverse acting skills and impressive fashion style in classic works such as Mildred Pierce, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane, and Grand Hotel, having gone through a long journey in the film industry. The star passed away on May 10, 1977 at her home in New York after a battle against breast cancer, at the age of 73. The passing of the movie legend made the Hollywood entertainment industry deeply saddened. Losing one of its greatest stars, Joan Crawford left many great contributions to the art of cinema through her acting ability and fashion style. Crawford opened a new era for the image of a powerful, artistic movie star. Number 11. Spencer Tracy was born on April 5, 1900, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and was one of the greatest male actors of 20th century Hollywood. He left a profound mark with his natural and authentic acting abilities in classic films such as Captain's Courageous, Inherit the Wind, and Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. The pinnacle of Spencer Tracy's career was when he received two Academy Awards for Best Actor for his roles in Captain's Courageous, 1937, and Boy's Town. 1938, the film star passed away on June 10, 1967, at UCLA Medical Center in Los Angeles, California, after a battle against heart disease and a stroke at the age of 67. His departure saddened and shocked Hollywood, as it lost a silver screen legend, Spencer Tracy made significant contributions to the art of acting through his authentic performances, reaching the inner depths of characters. He was a quintessential example of an American film actor. Number 10. Orson Welles was born on May 6, 1915, in Kenosha, Wisconsin, and was one of the most talented directors, actors, and playwrights in the world of cinema. 
He made a profound impact with the classic Citizen Kane, and innovative storytelling and direction in films like The Magnificent Ambersons and Touch of Evil. The talented director passed away on October 10, 1985, in Los Angeles, California, after a lifetime dedicated to pursuing the art, reaching the age of 70. His death left the global film community grieving the loss of a true genius. Orson Welles left behind a substantial legacy for the art of filmmaking through groundbreaking contributions in narrative techniques, cinematography, and acting. He is considered a pioneer of modern cinema with his creative and unconventional approach. Number 9. Peter Sellers was born on September 8, 1925, in South Sea, Portsmouth, England and was one of the most talented comedic actors and voice artists in the world of cinema. He made a lasting impression with his diverse character portrayals in comedic classics like The Pink Panther, series, Dr. Strangelove, and Being There. Sellers' career peaked with iconic roles that showcased his ability to embody characters and bring laughter to audiences. The gifted comedian passed away on July 24, 1980, in Aylesbury, England, after a severe heart attack at the age of 54. His death deeply saddened the global film community, mourning the loss of a leading talent in comedy. Peter Sellers made significant contributions to the art of cinematic comedy worldwide. Number 8. Catherine Hepburn was born on May 12, 1907, in Hartford, Connecticut, and was one of the most legendary and accomplished actresses in Hollywood. She left a profound mark with her extensive and diverse acting skills, along with her slender beauty and distinctive personality, in classic films like The Philadelphia Story, The African Queen, and The Lion in Winter. The peak of Catherine Hepburn's career was marked by her winning four Academy Awards for Best Actress, a record-breaking achievement in the history of cinema. The iconic actress passed away on June 29, 2003, at her home in Connecticut during the week of her 96th birthday, concluding a nearly century-long career of relentless work. Her death saddened the global film community, mourning the loss of a historical legend. Catherine Hepburn made significant contributions to the art of acting through her ability to authentically portray a wide range of characters, from dramatic to humorous, in a profound and natural manner. Do you like this actor? If yes, comment number 5, if not, Comment number zero to let us know, if you find an actor impressive, please add this sentence at the end of the paragraph. Number seven, James Stewart was born on May 20, 1908, in Indiana, Pennsylvania and was one of the most legendary and memorable actors in Hollywood. He left a profound mark with his authentic and emotionally rich acting, along with his handsome, gentlemanly appearance in classic films like It's a Wonderful Life, Rear Window, and Vertigo. James Stewart won the Academy Award for Best Actor for his role in the film The Philadelphia Story in 1940. His natural, sincere acting and masculine, Sophisticated demeanor endeared him to millions of audiences. The film star passed away on July 2, 1997, at his home in Beverly Hills, California, at the age of 89 after many years of battling heart and lung ailments. His passing saddened the entertainment world, mourning the loss of a great cinematic legend. James Stewart made significant contributions to the national art of acting. Number 6. Richard Burton was born on November 10, 1925, in Pontry Dyfyn, Wales, and was one of the most talented and famous actors in 20th century England. He made a profound impact with his intense and sharp acting skills in classic films like Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, Cleopatra, and Equus, 
Richard Burton received seven Academy Award nominations for Best Actor, though he never won, with his most iconic role perhaps being George in Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, 1966, showcasing his deep, groundbreaking acting talent. The talented actor passed away on August 5, 1984, at a hospital in Switzerland at the age of 58 after a long battle with lung cancer and kidney failure. His passing saddened the global film community, mourning the loss of a leading actor of his time. Though gone, Burton will forever be a cinematic legend through his emotionally intense, groundbreaking roles. Number 5. Yul Brynner was born on July 7, 1920, in Vladivostok, Russia, as Yuri Borisovich Briner, and was one of the most distinguished and famous actors in Hollywood. He made a lasting impression with his masculine appearance and versatile acting skills in classic films like The King and I, The Ten Commandments, and Westworld. The leading actor passed away on October 10, 1985, at New York Hospital after a long battle with lung cancer at the age of 65. His passing left the film world mourning the loss of a great talent. Yul Brynner made significant contributions to the art of acting through his diverse portrayal of characters that demanded charisma and masculinity. Number 4. Rock Hudson was born on November 17, 1925, in Winnetka, Illinois, with the real name Roy Harold Shearer Jr. He was one of the most charming and famous actors in Hollywood during its peak period. He made a profound impact with his handsome appearance and natural acting abilities in films such as Giant, Pillow Talk, and Lover Come Back. The pinnacle of Rock Hudson's career was in the 1950s and 1960s when he became a new icon of the ideal man, handsome, sophisticated, yet very charming and confident. Although he never won an Oscar, he was nominated for a Golden Globe for Best Actor in 1962. The actor passed away on October 2, 1985, in Los Angeles, California, after a strenuous battle with AIDS at the age of 59. Hudson's death shocked the world as it was the first time the public witnessed the devastating effects of the AIDS epidemic. Rock Hudson left behind significant contributions as he became a standard bearer in Hollywood during the 1950s and 1960s. Do you like this actor? If yes, comment number 6, if not, comment number 0 to let us know, if you find an actor impressive, please add this sentence at the end of the paragraph. Number 3. Vivian Lee was born on November 5, 1913, in Darjeeling, India, with the real name Vivian Mary Hartley. She was one of the most talented and captivating actresses in Hollywood. She left a deep mark with her graceful beauty and high-level acting skills in classic films such as Gone with the Wind and A Streetcar Named Desire. The actress passed away on July 8, 1967, at her home in London, England, after a grueling battle against depression and alcoholism at the age of 53. Her death saddened and shocked the global film industry, mourning the loss of a great talent. Vivian Lee made significant contributions to the art of acting through her profound and authentic portrayal of rich and complex characters. Lee will forever be a legend in the film industry through her iconic roles. Number 2. Peter Finch was born on September 28, 1916, in London, England. He was one of the talented and recognized actors of British cinema. He made a deep impression with his versatile and sharp acting skills in films such as Sunday Bloody Sunday, Network, and The Duchess of Duke Street. The peak of Peter Finch's career was when he won the Academy Award for Best Actor for his iconic role as Howard Beale in the film Network in 1976. The talented actor passed away on January 14, 1977, in Los Angeles, California, due to acute heart failure, just a few months after receiving the Oscar, at the age of 60. His sudden death shocked Hollywood, mourning the loss of a great talent. 
Peter Finch left behind significant contributions to the art of acting and was praised as one of the most talented actors in British cinema to have passed away. Number 1. Dirk Bogard was born on March 28, 1921, in Hampstead, London, with the real name Derek Niven van den Bagerde. He was one of the most skilled and distinctive actors in British cinema of the 20th century. He made a deep impression with his diverse, introspective, and unique style of acting in films such as The Servant, Darling, and Death in Venice. Dirk Bogard was twice nominated for the BAFTA Award for Best Actor for his roles in The Servant, 1963, and Darling, 1965, demonstrating his versatile acting talent across various genres. The talented actor passed away on May 8, 1999, at his home in London after a long battle with lung disease, at the age of 78. His death saddened both the British and global film industries, mourning the loss of a leading actor of his era. Dirk Bogard left behind significant contributions to the art of acting. He was hailed as an icon of British cinema during the 1960s and 1970s. And that is the list of top 30 actors you will never see again. Hope you enjoyed this video and are amazed at the changes that time has brought to the stars we once knew. And what do you think? Don't hesitate to share your opinion in the comments section. If you find this video interesting, don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on notifications to update more interesting stories from the entertainment world. See you in the next video.